Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of Azure DevOps training. In this one, we are going to see how to perform git commit, push, pull and fetch with VS Code. All right. Here you can see that into this new repository, I just have one file, which is the readme file. Okay. Now I'm going ahead and cloning this particular repository in my VS Code. Now you need to select a folder. So I'm going to create a new one, new project. Okay. And I'm going to select this folder for the repository destination. And then it is asking me whether you want to open the cloned repository and yes, click on open. Okay. And trust the authors. Now, if you are able to see the menu bar on my screen, then you need to click on terminal option and then click on new terminal option. Okay. Once you do that, this window will open up for you and you can like, you know, uh, like basically resize it. Okay. So for the first time, when you're like, you know, when you have cloned the repository for the first time, you have to configure the username and email. Okay. And in order to configure that, this is the command that you would be writing. So you have to write something as git, then config user dot name. So I'll move to my Azure DevOps and I'll check out the username. So my username is same as my email ID. You need to check your username. You might have kept it some as something else and not the email ID. So I'll move back to the VS code space and then test. And similarly, you have to configure the email as well, user dot email. Okay. And then click on enter. Okay. So this step, you only have to do, do it for the first time. Okay. Once everything is set up, you don't have to configure your username and email uh, again and again. Okay. So this is only for the first time. Now, once you have this, let's just go ahead and add a file to this repo from here. Okay. So I'm going ahead and adding a file here. Let's just keep it as test one dot HTML. And I'll just add some content here and save it. Okay. So now you can see that in the source control, it is showing me that there is one change. Okay. You need to click on here. And if you see that it is showing me that under changes, we have this file test one dot HTML and it is showing me something as you, you means untracked. Okay. So the first thing that we have to do is click on the plus sign. That means you are staging the change. So click on the plus sign. And once you have staged, the change the second step is to commit the code okay uh just keep in mind that commit does not mean push i mean once if i click on commit and if i go back to my azure devops i will not be able to see this file until and unless i push this file from here okay but let's just go ahead and commit this first and here you can add some comment okay committing test dot html okay and then click on commit now, once I have clicked on commit, there are two options by using which you can actually push this code. Okay. Either you can click on sync and also you can click on these three dots and you can click on push. Okay. The difference between push and sync changes is that when you click on push, whatever file you had as the change that file is going to go and get synced with Azure DevOps repo. But if you click on sync changes, let's say there is a new file that is available in the Azure DevOps. So that file is also going to get synced back in your VS code. That means sync changes is also doing the work of pull. Okay. So this button will push and pull your code. Okay. But in this case, we are only going to push the change. So I can click on push here. All right, so it is done. Now we can go back and we can refresh this. So you can see test one dot HTML is available over here, right? This is the content that I had put. Now I want to show you that option of sync changes. Okay. For that, I need to have a file over here. So I'm going to create another file here. So let me name it as test two dot HTML. Okay. Create. And then let's just post, put some content over here. And I'm going to comment this and click on commit. Okay. And let's just go back to the VS code. Okay. So here, if so, you need to find where is your source control. This is a source control, right? And if you click on these three dots, 
you need to click on fetch first okay because fetch is something that is going to or you can also click on pull okay let's just try the pull first okay so if i click on pull it is going to sync back all the new changes that i have in azure devops repo back to this vs code okay if i now if i see the files you can see that test2 dot html got synced back okay now i want to show you another scenario let's just go back and add a new file here i'm going to name it as test3 and let me create one more file i'm just going to come add some random content over here and then i will also go ahead and create a test4 file okay and click on commit now if i again go back to source control and if i click on these three dots and click on pull it is directly going to fetch me all the new files from the azure devops repo but let's say if i don't want to directly pull all the files but before that i want to see that how many files i'm going to actually pull from the azure devops repo okay for that you can actually click on fetch okay so if you click on fetch so if you see here right beside sync changes it is showing me two that means there are two two new files that are available okay or two new changes you can say so if i click on sync changes then it is telling me this action will pull and push commits from n2 origin main that means if you have any new file available here that file also it is going to push and if there are new files available in azure devops repo then it is going to pull those files into your vs code okay so i'll just click on okay and then let's just go back to the main folder and see so you can see i have the test3 file and i also got the test4 file okay so now i hope that you understood that how you can commit push pull and also fetch okay so for committing you can create uh, any new file over here okay let me quickly show you again okay and here is your source control will start showing it you need to stage the file and then you need to click on commit and once you commit once you commit you need to click on push okay let me add some comment okay it's not allowing me so so i've staged the file but let me add some comment here okay uh adding new file and then i'll click on commit now i can push this so this is done let's go back here and refresh this so you can see the new file that i just created and pushed it is available over here okay so this is how you can uh, basically commit push pull and make use of fetch options that are available all right so that's all for now thanks for watching i'll see you in the next session